Eddie, can start with some team news, please? Yes, if I can remember it all. Um, we're, we're pretty much in the same place. Um, added by the returns of Simon Francis and Lloyd Kelly in the week. Um, obviously different stages of their, their comebacks, but great to see Simon back after so long. Uh, and Lloyd too on the pitch after his recent injury. So uh, the squad's getting stronger. We mentioned it a few moments ago and obviously it's still early, but what kind of incentive is it to you and your players that you could potentially end up, well, you would end up uh, in third place tomorrow night with a win? Yeah, it's a, a big thing to, to take into the game. I'm sure both teams will be thinking the same thing. Um, at this early stage of the season, there's no better thing than, than winning and to try and get yourself as high as up uh, as the league as you can. I think uh, every team is looking for that consistency and you can see from how tight the league is at the moment, the amount of teams congested together, that um, it may well be that type of season where um, there is very few points between a lot of teams and we've got to make sure that we... We get as many points on the board as we can. As you say, it's very concertina in that middle section, probably even more than that, probably six, third down to 16th. Are there early signs perhaps that one of the unfancied sides like yourselves could possibly get crashed to the top four, maybe even top six? Difficult to tell at this stage. I, th I still think it's very, very early to make dramatic conclusions as to how the season will unfold. I just think from our perspective, we've got to get as many points on the board as we can. I think we had a, a great start to the season last year. Um, we're trying to build momentum in the campaign. I think that's hugely important home and away. You want to get that confidence going into every game that you can win. And certainly the, the last result we had will do us the world of good. Um, but we need to back that up now against Southampton. You have a proud record at this club of returning players from injury after long spells out, sometimes even career-threatening conditions. The latest obviously being Lewis Cook, very good against Everton. He, his injury last season, I think, coincided with a bit of a dip in form. And he's come back looking strong. How pivotal is he to what you're trying to do here? Yeah, very important player. Someone that we, we really like um, as a player and as a person. Um, all the way through his rehab from this injury, he was um, very, very focused, very driven to get back to his very best. And I think when you see someone with that kind of mindset, you, you only want good for them. And uh, Sunday was a really nice moment for him. Um, a lot of hard work went into that performance. And I said after the game, I think the most impressive thing is physically, he didn't really tire. And that's all down to the way he's approached um, the running aspect and the, the fitness aspect. He's come back in really good shape and I was delighted for him. If he continues in that, that level, it's still a bit of a way away from the Euros next summer. But is he somebody who could, based on ability, based on application, could possibly be part of the conversation for the Euros next summer with England? Without a doubt. I think pre-injury he was right in amongst it. He was doing very well for us and as you say it coincided with our really good start to the season and when we lost him we we tailed off in, in form. So a big player for us and I also know very highly rated by England. Uh, obviously what he's achieved with them at the, the youth age groups captaining the, the World Cup winning team. So he's yeah He's very highly thought of, and I think if he gets a good run of form, stays fit, then he's got every chance. Just on the topic of injuries more widely, you were disappointed the game before last, in the late latter stages of the, the Leicester game. Do you think that situation where there possibly wasn't the competition for places that you'd like to see, that came about as a result of the injury list? Do you think that left you in a difficult situation? <clears throat> um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I think there's many reasons behind um, sometimes a poor performance, and I think... The majority of the Leicester game we were okay. It was just that last aspect, that last 20 minutes I was disappointed with in particular. Um, so, yeah, we reflected and analysed and returned to a really good performance at home, which was, as I said, after the Everton game, so important that we try and win at home and build momentum there. But now we look to this game and a different test totally. Um, but as I say, we're looking to, to back up our performance against Everton with another good performance. What are you expecting from... From them, I mean, it was a good away day for them last time out at Sheffield United. They were under Kosh for a lot of the time, but they came away with three points, didn't they? Yeah, very good team. I think they've improved under their new manager, um, implemented his philosophy. Um, certainly, very hard working team. They've got undoubted quality as well, I think. So, we know it's going to be a tough game and um, a very good atmosphere, I'm sure. Both teams go into the game of confidence, so I think it's set up to be a, a really good match. See, this is perhaps the, the eminent. South Coast derby now, I mean, you haven't played, you, you play each other a lot more often in recent years than you have done historically. Brighton's a couple of hours away, Saints don't play Portsmouth that often anymore. It's, it's the one 
in this part of the world that everyone talks about now, isn't it? I think it's building. I, I think I've said every year, I think the, the more games we have, the more rivalries will increase. I think from our perspective, um, we enjoy the games. We've, we've had some really good battles in the Premier League against Southampton, some successes, some, some disappointments. But I think that all adds to uh, the, uh, to make the game what it is. I think we, uh, we've we enjoyed going to Southampton to play these games. We haven't won one yet in the Premier League and we're desperate to do that as soon as we can. Do you think you need a rival to some degree? I mean, there's two sides of the coin, isn't there? George Graham used to say 20 years ago when he was Arsenal manager that it was harder for Arsenal to win the league because they had about 14 London derbies to play. But you're kind of just building one. You don't really have any others in the area, do you? No, I don't think we've... We are a club that really has had the history of too many uh, huge rivalries, especially locally. But I don't know. Do we want one? Yeah, I suppose we do. I think adding that competition means you've been successful, and I think when you've been successful, there naturally will be people that wanna that wanna beat you. And I don't think that's a, an unhealthy thing. So if we can build that in a in a positive way, not in a negative way, but if we can build it, then I'm certainly for it. Okay. Okay. Just one from me, Eddie. Um, for the fans, this is a big game. The rivalry is actually very important. But do you just see this as just another of many important games? Yeah, I think every game in the in the Premier League is hugely important. I think we are aware that this holds extra importance for for our supporters and everybody locally. So I think that has its own responsibility. But I, I think to say you're more motivated for one game than any other is, is wrong because um, for me, you need to be at your best levels every week. So that, that's certainly my mindset.